Now, in home design, we're joined, as always, by Hamish, but he's also bought Lisa Lowe from VeggiePod. We're here to talk about a simple and easy way to grow your veggies at home. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Great to have you on the show. This is a fantastic idea. I love it, Lisa. So where did the idea come from? So the VeggiePod was designed around eight years ago in Australia by a man called Matt Harris. Uh, we bought them into New Zealand two years ago, so they're still fairly new for us. Um, but today we're a global company, so you'll be able to get a veggie pod in most parts of the world. Oh, I love them. So what exactly is a veggie pod? So it's a vegetable garden kit designed to enable people to grow their own veggies at home easily. Uh, there's three sizes. This is our little one here next to us, but we do a medium size, which is a metre square, and a big one, which is a two metre by one metre garden. So, uh, vegetable gardening <laughs> can be quite tricky. <laughs> yes. I, I speak from experience. Same. Yep. <laughs> I think I can do it, but not quite. Uh, how does the veggie pod help someone like me, perhaps Mike, and me, yes. to, yep. to be able to do these things? Yeah, so there's kind of two key challenges people face when growing their own veggies at home. The first is the watering requirements. So generally people forget to water or they go away on holiday in summer, come back and their garden's dried up. The veggie pot overcomes that. It's got a watering system and built into it. So oh, through the nice. Yeah, through the canopy you've got a mist sprayer okay. that waters from the top down. And then under the soil as well are water tanks that feed the roots of the vegetables from underneath. So it really takes care of that. You don't um, underwater or overwater as well. And the second key reason are the bugs and animals, which is what the cover's for. So that protects your garden, keeps out all those pests that want to eat your veggies before you do. Mr that McGregor needed them. Brilliant, the eh? And that, so, that, so the watering's taken care of and your animals aren't going to get in there and get yeah. into your beautiful vegetables. And can I just say, <laughs> they look fantastic. What? Can you grow, looking at this, what can you grow in a veggie pod? Yeah, so you can grow just about anything. Um, so all of your herbs, like we've got there, your leafy greens, brassicas, like broccolis, cauliflowers, uh, root vegetables. So you have a full foot of soil there, so you can grow down your carrots, beetroots into them. And we also do your larger, um, taller type um, vegetables like tomatoes and beans as well. Um, probably the only things I'd suggest maybe not doing is your really bulky kind of um, pumpkins or corn that maybe do them elsewhere. <laughs> corn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you grow all year round one of these in a veggie you, pot? Yeah, you can indeed. So the, the covers here that we have um, on this one is a standard mesh which will protect down to minus two. So for most parts of New Zealand, that'll give you enough protection all year round. If you are in the South Island in extreme cold temperatures we do do a winter cover which is a PVC to keep you growing through the, the winter months as well. So who's the veggie pod designed for? So they're designed for everyone. Uh, we have them in preschools and schools teaching children how to grow their own veggies right up to retirement villages and customers in their 80s and 90s who just get so much enjoyment out of still just tending to a little garden out on their, their deck or patio area. And you know what I love about it too is that you know when it comes to actually building your own garden bed you've got to get the soil right, you've got to get everything right, you think you're going well and then it all starts falling to bits. So this is a fool's proof way of really doing it isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're Makes doing all the easy. hard work for us. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so what, what price range are we talking? Uh, so they start, this little one here starts at $189 um, up to our large one, which is $429. And then the, the stands or the trolleys that lift them up are optional extras if you want to add those on. That... So whereabouts do I go to get one then? So the best place to go is our website, veggiepod.co.nz. Uh, on there you can buy and we ship anywhere in New Zealand, direct to your home. Uh, we also have a list of our stockers, so garden centres and uh, gar hardware stores throughout New Zealand that stock them. And also we'll be at the field days this week for the next four days, so pop in and see us there. We're at the rural living section. Come and see us and we'll have them all on display. You must have had some fantastic feedback from some of the customers. We have, um, yeah, we brought them into New Zealand. We actually didn't think it would go as amazing as it has. Um, Kiwis just are right into growing their own, being self-sufficient, organic and love vegetables. And that is the movement at the moment, knowing where your veggies come from. And there are a lot of spaces, I guess, and especially built up areas that don't have places to actually put a garden. So this is going to be ideal, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you, they can fit into such a small area, a little patio. I've had them on rooftops. 
Um, you can yeah, put them anywhere. Um, our big one as well, um, we sell a lot of that to people on larger sections, even farmers and people that have all the room, you'd think, to grow their own veggies, but they still love the veggie pods because they keep out your animals, they water themselves if you're on tank supply, so they really fit everyone. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't need to spray either, would you, because you can keep the pests out with, uh, so you get That's your organic right. produce. You can be completely organic. Mm. This is all a UV stabilised food grade safe plastic, so it's all organic, you don't need to spray because your cover keeps out. My goodness. Okay, and one last question I've got for you. It's optional to put the legs on. Can you have them on the ground? Or if you don't want to bend over, can you add the legs in? Absolutely. So it's got a flat bottom to the garden. You don't have to have our legs. You can okay. just sit them straight down on the ground. Brilliant. Or if you want extra height yourself, you can build your own frame to lift them up or put them on some pallets, concrete blocks, sleepers, raise them yourself. My goodness, what a fantastic idea. Thanks for bringing them into the country. I <laughs> love nice. it. Okay, thanks so much, Lisa. Thanks so much, Hamish. Enjoy the field days, by the way. Okay. I will see you there. Field days, by the way, starts tomorrow. If you're keen to find out more or start growing your own chemical-free, nutritious veggies, then you can pop along to veggiepod.co.nz or go and see the team at Field Days.